attacking it are massive humanoid frontline soldiers of the dragon aspects and really the backbone of the dragon society. So back in 2009, prior to Cataclysm's release, Blizzard seriously considered adding the dragon as an actual playable race, promising to expand their lore, which never really happened. Well, never really happened until now in Dragonflight, where they just expanded dragon lore and gave us a lot more context into what they are and how they were actually created. Recently, there was also an interview where Blizzard talked about the possibilities of adding more classes to the drag tier, and when asked about the Draconid, they talked about how they're looking into possibilities of adding allied races right in Dragonflight. Seeing that we are going back to where the drag tier were actually created, Forbidden Reach in 10.0.7, which is going to happen at any moment now, could the Draconid be a new form of the drag tier or a brand new playable race? So let us examine all the facts in the interviews and could we actually be playing as the Draconid? in the very near future. As you may know, these monitors emit blue light, which can damage and strain your eyes. But luckily, the sponsor of this video, GMG Performance, has the perfect solution as these glasses can block it. Now, I've been using them for about a year or so every time when I'm spending a really long time in front of a monitor and they can come in super handy. Now, for the next 48 hours, you can get up to 40% off, so make sure to check out my link in the description below. So, the Draconid have really been in World of Warcraft pretty much since the start. You guys have seen them since forever, and they actually have a pretty long history in the game. But the only issue is they never really had much or really any lore added to them. Their origin was super vague. Generally, we were told that those are mortals that spent a long time with dragons, and some were possibly transformed by some sort of magic directly, but it was just as vague as it gets. However, for the longest time, they really were just bipedal dragons that kind of looked cool, sort of like these dragon ogres, but there was not much context. Now, unbeknownst to many, but back in 2009, so nearly 14 years ago, Blizzard actually seriously considered adding them as we were at the time in the pre-production stages of Cataclysm. So other than Dragonfight, that really would have been the most appropriate timing. Here is exactly what the devs said at the time. We always looked at those and said, oh, there will be a pretty cool player race. It will be cool to play as one of those guys. There's not a lot as far as where did they come from, and what are they, but they are in the world and it wouldn't be completely inconceivable that a player would end up being able to play that and we would continue to expand on the depth of that race and that sort of race. Well, that ended up not happening, we got the Drag tier, and instead in Cataclysm we got the Vorgan and the Goblins, which I can't really complain, they were an excellent addition, but until recently everything kinda stopped after that, after Cataclysm we went to Draenor, fought the Legion, all got stuff, Shadowlands, so there really was no appropriate timing to continue this idea, the dragons were really on the back Burner. However, now with Dragonflight, that has pretty obviously changed and this isn't even just my random speculation, there are actual official Blizzard interviews where they say something with the Draconid might be actually happening and they might even consider adding some playable allied races in the game, which I'm going to get into just a bit. So who really are even the Draconid and why should we be able to play as them? Originally, as I mentioned, there really was no significant lore, like literally their lore went as far as just a random a mob description time thing you would encounter anywhere. I'm guessing someone just drew humanoid looking dragons and thought they looked pretty awesome. They added a tiny bit of flavor lore. So we have known them as these half human half dragons, the frontline soldiers of the aspects. We were told that they were mortals that spent a long time with dragons, so this change naturally happened, or that there was some way to alter them intentionally and to raise mortals into dragons. Overall though, they're really cool looking beings, but when you think about them from a dragon perspective, they don't really seem exactly too practical. The Draconid are pretty big. On some occasions, they are huge. They are massive, much like dragons, how they can be as big as a flying mount or as large as a house. However, generally, they would be the size of ogres or the tauren if they were to be playable. But the main thing about them is that dragon terms, they really are just kind of useless. I mean, sure, these guys are big. They're as wide as a house. But in terms of like fighting dragons, they are pretty much useless. They wield this big Hold on, they're slow, and while they are big, they are actually tiny compared to actual dragons, so they are very easily countered by them. This is actually a reason that Blizzard listed as to why Naltarian decided to create a drag here. He didn't really see the Draconid as a viable option as particularly useful against the elemental dragons. However, when you think about it, there is a reason they have actually been frontline soldiers for thousands and tens of thousands of years. It is actually very rare that dragons ever battle other dragons like in any scenario. In fact, we just learned about this ancient 
intense civil war between the aspects and these elemental guys. In general, dragons have always battled other mortals, old god beings and all sorts of generally humanoid looking beings. So it is definitely a lot of merit in having large and durable humanoid dragons that can be used as foot soldiers while the actual dragons provide cover fire. Well, that is cool and all, but finally, after almost two decades, Blizzard decided to add some context and to expand on this race. And I wouldn't say this without a reason as the Draconid were mentioned in a subsequent interview. So the new lore is all based on the Tusserek. You might have seen these guys on the Dragon Isles. They are these dragon kin, but they're kind of like Saurok reptile beings that are very small and even very small compared to the Drakir. Neltarion actually considered these guys sort of as a joke and he used them as fodder and training targets for the Draktir. However, ages ago, the dragon aspects decided to pick some of the Tarasek and to uplift them into the very first Draconid. In a similar manner to how the Titan Keepers uplifted the Proto Dragons, so did the aspects by creating this new Draconid race. As we have just learned, the Draconid are very, very abundant on the Dragon Isles and they're like the workhorse of the dragon aspects. They were left to take care of the isles when the dragons left, so they're very essential to the entire dragon mechanism, the entire dragon machinery. What is also important to note is that these guys are titan minions. They don't seem to exist naturally, and they're essentially titan enhanced Tarasek. Now, keep in mind, not all of them were actually transformed. Later, we learned that it is possible to be born as the dragonid, but that is of course natural. I mean, just how the dragons were created, they just kept being born as dragons, even though originally they were proto-dragons, as they were really intrinsically changed, like their entire DNA was changed. Furthermore, all of the five dragon fights have used the Draconid, so they're actually quite diverse, which could definitely be really interestingly reflected in their customization options. Now, back in November, Blizzard had a really interesting interview where people asked them about expanding the Draconid to more than just the Draconid evokers, and for the Draconid to get other classes, they kind of gave a bit of a vague answer on how it could be possible later down the line, plus we're going back to Forbidden Reach in 10.0.7, which might mean that this could be happening sooner than we think. However, someone asked them, but what about the Draconid? And they gave a really interesting and a really telling answer. When it comes to expanding the Draconid to other things, it's a future conversation that we'll have about what opportunities make sense and even opportunities for allied races. We are always having conversations about how can we include more things in that too. I think going to Dragon Isles offers us more opportunity to consider things here. So while of course this is like a diplomatic, really vague response, they didn't officially confirmed the Draconid are coming as an Eld race, there is definitely a chance and sort of some telling information. There is a hint that the Draconid might become an Eld race for the Draconid or that there is a way for the Draconid to get a Draconid form or we could just straight out get a Draconid playable race and allied race. Honestly, lore wise, it makes a lot of sense. We're probably going to learn about how the dragons and the Draconid were actually created and we are now exposed to the true Draconid and we could learn more about them. They could be expanded. They're not just filler minions like they have been in the past, like we could learn like the actual truth about the Draconid. Seeing that we're really helping the dragons and allying with them, it would make sense for us to pick up a race to get later down the line. Just how we got some of the races that we helped out back in BFA. After we help out the aspects, they give us some of their most important soldiers to help us out in the future as we work to save Azeroth together. I can definitely see them having most of the playable classes as an actual race, but mainly they would definitely be really good warriors, like really good tanks. However, seeing that the Draconid exist across all the dragon fights, there could be maybe blue mages, black dragonflight warriors, green dragonflight druids, all sorts of possibilities could exist and it could be super interesting. So on the technical side, they could be quite useful. The only thing is that I don't really feel like the community cares all that much about the Draconid. They would look cool, but I don't feel like they're as iconic as the Ogres, for example, or the Gnolls, or maybe even the Tuscar. However, if we do get more Draconid lore in the very near future, that could change, and Blizzard could definitely set the Draconid up really nicely as a future allied race. That would be a great addition to take to World of Warcraft from Dragonfly. Thank you for watching, check out what is the mortal side of the Draconid by clicking on the screen and check out the Notes Academy for videos on real world history. See you next time.